Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the first Artist Connect Sundays. Just want to get J Catalyst on here. Hey, Nakana, what's up? Hope the volume is good. Is everything sounding right? Oh, Shuggy told you. That's what's up. I'm just waiting for a J Catalyst to jump on. J Catalyst, where you at? Also, at the end of this Artist Connect Sundays, we're going to announce uh, the winner of the raffle. We're doing a raffle every week. It's $100 to someone who's using the app. So every week, whoever's using the app to get paid, we're going to throw them in a raffle. And whoever the, you know, the raffle lands on, they're going to win that week $100. So if you're already getting paid for stuff, let's say for you know beats or photography or makeup or whatever creative service you already do, you might as well use Artist Connect, just like how you would use Cash App or another app. Use Artist Connect, and then you're automatically in that raffle every week. And then if you win... And even if you don't win, um, we're going to shout you out, let people know that, you know, you're out there doing work. You're somebody, you're creative, that's hustling, that's grinding. So, you know, it's it's really a lit opportunity. <clears throat> Jay Catalyst, where you at? Okay, how do I go live with Jay Catalyst? Okay. Yo. Hey, what's up, Sage? How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Is the sound good? Everything good? Yeah, everything's good on my end. Can you hear me? I hear you clear. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank are you for you, having me, bro. Where are you at? Huh? Where are you right now? Uh, right now I'm at my own personal crib. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any sessions yeah. today or yesterday? Always sessions. Always sessions. Uh, yeah, always sessions. I, I, I live. If if I'm not if I'm not in the studio, I'm here in my own personal studio working. I got my own personal studio called Mount Olympus Studio. So, so that's what's up, man. Um, so I want everyone to know a little bit about what we were talking about today. I mean, obviously on Artist Connect Sundays, what I want to do is I want to tap in with every creative, a different type, a different kind of creative every week, and let people know what these creatives are going through. You know, their experiences um, and the most recent things that they're that they picked up on that they could share and help other creatives and other people who want to know, you know, what's going on in their world. So we talked a little bit, you know, before we got on this live a couple of days ago, and you were telling me about a situation with um, a session that you had, like a legendary session, obviously, yeah. with uh, DC. I want to know uh, a little bit more about that and, and what you got the session. So I had, uh, I had one, um, one Sunday I was asked to come in and, um, it wasn't, I was actually supposed to do, I was already doing the session, but I was, I was requested to do a, I was like, well, I already got a session where I'm engineering. They're like, yeah, but we, I really need you on this session. I was like, all right, <clears throat> fine. So ended up jumping on that session, came in and, uh, the artist, I'm like, I don't know who that is, but when I came into the studio, it was like very classic sounding music and mm -hmm. the guy, the artist was already in the booth. <clears throat> and so I was like, Sounds like DMC from Run DMC. He was like, they were like, yeah, it's, it's DMC. So I to work with, with with him, and then after his after the uh, the session of working with him, <clears throat> I got the chance to just really have a conversation with him, and get to pick his brain and know him and um and just really see a difference in a con a, a, a comparison and a contrast in <clears throat> the way. And and, and 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 maneuver as a, uh, in comparison to the way that artists of his time and, and and was just moving the way that they were moving back then. Mm. 
being in the studio because I'm, uh, I, I, you know, I'm an artist myself. But as a, as a studio engineer, I get to work with a lot of different artists constantly, and so I get to see, you know, <clears throat> how the the big the biggest difference between today's artistry, the artist, um, and being in a session like that because I also work with 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 legends like Jerry Wonder and stuff. I get to see the difference in the work mode mm. and, 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 and commitment to how um, artists today, you know, work in comparison to, to artists, uh, uh, you know, of the past and stuff. There's, a, there's, there's, sim there's certain similarities, but there's a great differences uh, in, in, in the way artists move today versus the way that they move back in, in, in then. But talking with DMC, man, DMC, like we did a session, he came in and he crushed five whole songs in one hour. Wow. In one whole hour. Wow. Do takes. So, and so we got to talking after that, after the, you know, after his, he was done, he was really picking his brain. And, and um, the beautiful thing that I see is artists of that era wanting to be more in line, you know, in tune with today's generation. It's to connect with them because today's era is tapped into every aspect of technology. We have everything at our fingertips to be able to use. Yep. And sometimes that, that's, a, that's a great thing. And sometimes that's a, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, um, it, 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 it can be too much is given, you know what I'm saying? Too easily to where, you know, where, you know, the struggle of how, how was how how this had to go through back then just to get their music out just to be heard just to connect with people, to in, in into opportunity who could be able to see and hear their music and so um with him like you know about it it was a, it was a great conversation about it um as well but there's definitely a, a, a difference between the way the generation is, uh, you know our generation today kind of moves so it feels like it feels like what you what you're saying is like it was almost very refreshing to be able to see artists record in that way. Was it refreshing because it was different or was it refreshing because you felt like, you know what, this is how every artist kind of like in general should approach recording sessions? I won't say, you know, I, I, I've, I've been in the studios enough to learn that there's there just because one way for for artists doesn't mean that another way is any less approachable or or, or usable um in, in 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 their own right in their own way but i will say that i'm i'm 85 so i'm like right in the hybrid between you know the older generation and you know today's generation and stuff yeah. i work with nothing you know say all the guys I work with today, you know, they're either in in DMC's age or they're right at in their twenties and stuff. Got so it. I'm every day getting a contrast of new school, mm -hmm. but it was refreshing to me because I grew up under the old, you know, the old school ways of where you didn't have um, it when getting into the studio when you got when you got an opportunity to get into the studio. You have you come prepared. You come ready to go. You know what in there. You're not there wasting any time. You know what I mean. So yes. it, it, it's different from that aspect to see. You know, uh, um, just kids today like they have the time. You know, they have the the world at their hands. Even just the software difference because we have mm -hmm. Pro Tools now. You know, and and back then it was a lot more hardware. You didn't have a lot of takes to just do things over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. You had to get it right, especially recording against tape. You yep. know, so so they they you know they they approached it differently. They approached yep. the sessions, you know, and, and the work mode differently than you know uh the freedom that we have today, you know, yep. to, to be able to use that. I just I, I I want I urge, you know, I I just would advise that, you know, our peers of today just just spend digging deep back into the past and just kind of seeing the process of how things used to be, you know what I'm saying? Just because it, it, it can be applicable to their, their work, their workflow today. But it was definitely refreshing. 
definitely refreshing to so see, you have see a, that you process. Have, you have a unique perspective because not only not only do you have this experience, but you're also an artist as well. Mm-hmm. So because of that, kind of like because usually generally artists they come to the studio, they want to you know they have to develop a, a relationship with that engineer, to mm-hmm. feel like the chemistry is right. You know what I mean? That's like a it's a really important thing. But right. you have that chemistry within yourself with your own artistry in order to be able to make music like so how like you have a unique vantage point in that in that regard so like is this something that you feel um like that you could say to an artist do you feel like that helps your ex- explanation to artists when you try to explain something to them because you're an artist yourself tremendously tremendously um <clears throat> as an engineer i've i've, I've learned how my style of engineering um because i engineer from an artist's perspective um mm-hmm. i'm an artist myself i went into the engineering side of the business wanting to learn how to better my own recordings because that back then i didn't have the funds to be able to just go into a studio like that you know mm-hmm. i especially to just do songs after song after song project after project after project my budgets weren't budgets weren't big like that weren't 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 accessible as easily like that so yeah. to be able to come from that aspect that era and be able to apply my my experiences throughout the years of not only just working to you know to learn to better my own recordings but also working with different artists different styles of artists um yeah. ha- i always tell a lot of the, the the young kids that's in the studios today, I tell them, uh, especially the you know the guys that are interning to become engineers, to understand that every artist is different. You know, approach it from a, from from the mindset of trying you know of wanting learning to understand, and just see what is the artist looking for. When you deal with a lot of different, deal with a lot of different people, it can be overwhelming at times, but at the same time, it also allows you to be very malleable to any type of any type of personality that you deal with. I can go yeah. from session to single session could be different. I may be dealing with a young artist, you know, who's 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 hot and he raps very, very fast. He's like a one line puncher, you know, but doesn't know exactly what he's looking for, but he's relying on relationship build. And he's waiting for you to 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 to, to in no in that time frame build that trust, that level of trust with them let me give you take this opinion or, or or try looking at it from that aspect but at the same time you go into a session like with dmc who already knows how to work then that means that you know that you don't have to apply much effort to or you know to to the session but just be more hands-on and just recording process so being very fluid and very malleable a very people person in general is very i i i tell every any artist in this industry um is 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 a tool it's a very necessary tool when you're in the industry of dealing with people regardless yep. be comfortable enough to be able to be adaptable with any type of circumstance any person that you meet because everybody is different yeah so i take that 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 has got me to where i'm at today so see Being, that that's i think that it's hard I think, would you say it's hard for artists? Like, I want them to kind of, because they're watching right now, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. And there's, there's so many different things going through their head. If they could walk away with something where they need to know, like, all right, if I could just get you to understand one thing about how to make your music better, what, and, and that you know that most of them you've seen, like, all right, I peep, they don't, a lot of them have the same issue. You know what I mean? If there's mm-hmm. any common thread between the issues that they all have, what is that issue that, See, most engineers can't just come into it like make artists walk into a session like this is your problem because then that might start a confrontation. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. in a way, using this kind of platform, you could tell them like, listen, I want you to understand that a lot of engineers are feeling this kind of way uh, towards your attitude when it comes to the studio and how you can better that one particular aspect of your character to help make songs much better. Is it? Would you say that it's ego? Because in my experience, I would think that it was it was a false sense of ego. You know what I mean? In the studio, like, it's one thing to have, like, the bravado on a record and to come across and be in your bag on a record. 
and then understanding that when you're talking to an engineer and you're and you're creating the record that that's separate from that from that part of your music you know what i mean it's not like mm -hmm. you're showing the engineer you're in your record in the back you're in your bag in the record but then if you try to push that on the engineer that kind of comes across like oh dude like are you like you know what i mean like we're not really creating a conducive environment do you ever find yourself in those, those kinds of situations is that like a common issue yeah, it is. I mean, you have. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to look at it. This is the. This is the. This is a business of sales, and just like any any other business, the customer is always right. Mm -hmm. You have to look. You have to treat it from that perspective. Yeah. But it's about. But but being in the engineer seat, you walk in with a with a, with a. You have to learn how to walk in with a calmness of control in the room. You always keep the room in control. Which means, in order to keep the room in control, you got to keep yourself in control. Hundred percent. So every, you know, you you're always. This is an egotistical business. You're gonna deal with egos, and there's mm -hmm. gonna be some egos that you know you're not you. In in that position, you can't always just tell an artist how 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 they should or should be. But you can earn that relationship with them to be able to communicate back and forth with them to build a rapport. It's 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 all relationship building. Yeah. It's all client relationship building, and and from 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 a new from an engineer to an artist perspective, every time that they meet, I'm I meet a different person. Every, not you know what I'm saying I I meet different people on a regular basis, and I earn that trust with them to make them want to come back and work with me again, and that is applied in person personal personal skills, communication, and just being 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 in control of myself. And, and 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 my 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 knowledge of expertise to be able to keep the room at in, in, you know at bay in control always keep the room in control. I deal with chaotic you know sessions all the time, but yeah. you have to when you when you're sitting it's like it's like you know this going this might throw my age out there, but Captain Picard of Star Trek sitting in the, in, in 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 the chair. You gotta remain control in the process. You know what I mean? Because if you, there, but I'm, I'm out there too. So you know, right? Just, you because mean. if you, because if you, if you, if you don't have control of yourself and have and, and remain calm and have control of the room, then 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 nobody's. You know, everybody's everybody panics. If you panic, yeah. everybody panic. But yeah. what I will tell all artists, regardless on what side that you're on, regardless of what facet of the business that you're you're, you're in, what I would 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 advice to all artists in general especially the ones that i've experienced with is just not waste so much heaviness on yourself and be patient with yourself because everything that you do is art mm -hmm. there's no wrong way or no right way to say that you know this is this is what art is yeah exactly and i I myself am, is, am a perfectionist, but I've learned over time to be more gentle on myself and patient with myself in the process of wanting to get to where it is that I, I'm, I want to be, where I, I, I see myself wanting to be. Because you look back on every single step of the journey that you've taken and realize that every single part of that process was part of character development for you. It was never, nothing went in vain everything was happened for a reason to get you to the person that you are today. Mm. But, that, but, but that's something that artists have to understand. You know what I mean? Like we, we you know, that this industry is very pressure applying on, you know, in all facets more than it needs to be at times, because mm. at the end of the day, we are creators. We make art. That's our job to yep. just put some, you know, provide art to the world, you know, and we apply a lot of pressure on ourselves, but, we need to we need to be more kinder to ourselves and just understand enjoy the ride of your enjoy your journey of getting to where it is that you want to be i can without a doubt speak today to say that i the person that i am today i am when when i started my when i when i said I, i'm going to start a music career is not the same person but one thing i learned to apply is just I, I grew up uh, in a, in a sports family, so I learned. I played football, so I always learned to apply to just take life like take a deep breath before you go into the huddle. You're about to get it. You're about to you're about to feel impact. I've played running back, line, you know, what I'm saying wide receiver. I played so many positions. 
and you know in every in in, in, in the game you're gonna get hit. Mm-hmm. But it's part of the it's part of the game. You take your hits and you get back up. So I just urge artists, you know, to be more patient with themselves because I do I do see that um, in a lot of in a lot of the guys that 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 you know I work with today. You know, the difference I would say, you know, I, well I won't say it's a difference because I felt like that too, and I can relate as an artist. I can relate. So that you know, being able to relate to an artist as well from an engineer standpoint is it it, it, it helps. You know what I'm saying? Especially being an artist myself. I'm able to re- apply that relatability in every session that I do. I can yeah. see and understand where, 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 you know, what a client is looking for, but it takes time to get there. You know, it's not something that you get overnight. Yeah. But, it's a level of comfortability that you can hear through the records too. Like I hear that with your music. I hear like that you're comfortable in, in yourself. It's a very, it's, it's, it, it's like, you can't even capture it. It's a nuance that like only, it's like so subtle, but like as a human being, you can understand it. You know it. You know what I mean? Just like when you see somebody perform on stage, you can tell when they're doing it to do it or when they're mm-hmm. really in their bag and they're like, you're just watching like, oh, sh- this dude is like really, you know, feeling it. And then you start feeling it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that kind of intimacy with your own art and, and comfortability within your own self, that definitely takes time. I don't think, I think there are people who somehow like get it right off the bat. Like, you know, you have like, uh, people like a Michael Jackson or something like that. Mm-hmm. Robinson is like looking at him like, yo, he's singing like a 45 year old man when he's six years old. And he's like, it sounds like he'd been through a relationship and he never did. Yeah. So every once in a while you do get those prodigies, but for a lot of artists, it's, it's a process of getting, I think getting to know yourself better and better and being more comfortable with yourself more and more. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's dope, man. That's, dope. that's, that's the thing, Sage is it's, you know, the experiences is what makes the music, you yep. know, it, 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 it's, it's the, the struggles is what makes, you know, it, it's what allows you to make these great songs that, that, that you make because it comes from a place of feeling something, you know, and, 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 and music becomes a channel, a gateway, a, a, a gateway to release that. That's where some of the greatest songs come from. It comes from the emotion that you felt from the past, exactly. from, from your past experiences. Yeah. So, that with that said understand you know that goes back you know trying to get artists to understand be patient with yourself because what you're going through what you're doing everything that you're experiencing the good the bad the ugly part of developing your story i tell the stories that i tell because of my experiences that i felt getting to become this person that i am today with, with confidence i was that person then but i'm a much different person to say I walked with confidence and it got me there. I mean, I've done I've done a lot of you know I've I've done a lot of you know I've did a lot of competitions, um, a coast to coast mixtape winner. I, I've opened up for K Michelle, Bun B, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Scarface, a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I've done my own shows myself. So all the experiences I went through came with their own challenges of getting there. You know, and then you look past that and it's like, does it get any better? Yeah, it does. Your story always gets better. The more, as long as you continue to stay in the process, every part of this is a process. And that's what I understand is don't be so hard on yourself. You want to be perfect, but in order to be perfect, perfection is built off of the struggles and the challenges that you face to become more malleable and moldable to the person that you are today. And you're always evolving and you're always learning. That's the, that's, yeah. that's, you know, that's something that I try to pass on the artist and be open and be adaptable. And just before, before you speak, listen, that's yeah. key. That's Mouse, key. Mouse Quick just said, Mouse Quick just said, you can't bypass the working aspect of the process. Yeah, it's it's, it's 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 like anything like for the gym. You can't expect a six pack without you know without actually that, working towards it. Absolutely true. And 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 you know, I talk to guys at times that's just like, you know, will be like, if I don't get it this, if I don't get it this year, I'm I'm done. It took me twenty years, almost twenty years. I'm I'm coming up on my almost two decades of being in the music industry to get to where I'm at today. Mm. You know. 
it takes it takes faith you know it takes it takes having faith and 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 also just not not forgetting that it's just it, it it's it's life it's part of life you know it's 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 enjoy the enjoy your journey mm. enjoy your 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 story being written yeah that's part of the process you know we 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 look at we we look at some of the some of you know some of the the people that we admire so much for the things that they went through and overcome and and got them to where they are today take someone like the rock who didn't have you know what i'm saying famous story all i had was seven dollars in my pocket you know look at them now so that's you know all of these experiences have just helped me to be there looking at the position that i'm in today being between generations understanding of what it is now and being able to just be there for artists today to tell you know not just artists in general but but you know people to yeah. tell them it's okay it's it's just it's just it's just part of the journey it's just part of the ride you know yeah. and l- let yourself live and enjoy it yeah and just keep and keep making music keep creating just keep doing even even if you feel like this could always be better, I and that's something I took a long time to learn. Sage, I have over, I have a lot of music, you yeah, that I have out there, but yeah. I have a lot of music that I kept hidden for a long time. Albums of music because I wanted it to be so perfect, and it took me time to realize you gotta let it go. You just mm. gotta, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. You gotta get that yourself is, out there. I am right there. That is such a <laughs> sacrifice that that's necessary. Is is so important. It's very important because I because you look back, look at Drake. Look at where he started to where he is now. The artist he is today isn't the same artist that he he was before. But if he didn't put it out there, you would not have that to understand his journey, his growth. And all his struggles that he went through to become the artist that he is today. Yep. That's part it's all part of the process. So so would you say that artists need to understand to be comfortable in their perceived imperfections? Is that like a good way to put it, maybe? Like cause they come in they come in thinking like, oh my my stuff ain't perfect yet. It's gotta be a certain way, and then you can be too extreme in that method, and then so thinking about it that you can't get enough work out to even know what is even good because a lot of times people put out records and they think that record was never going to pop and it ends up being a record they never thought was going to pop is the one that actually pops and the ones they thought was going to pop not the ones that pop like that mm-hmm. happens a lot you know so I it's think, not a, i wouldn't yeah. say I, I i would i would say not instead of being comfortable because you because some people can get too comfortable and never evolve the balance you gotta have it's a balance you, you know it's be comfortable with accepting that you're growing. Yes. Okay. In the process. Got it. But also give yourself a time frame to say, this is where I cut it off. This yeah. is where I release it. It's this matter. is where I move on. Yeah. Because if, if you stay stuck with it, you'll never move on. And I can testify to that. Yeah. You know, I can testify to that. I have stuff that I've st- stayed stuck to that yeah. made it hard for me to move on because I never let it go. Mm. And that's and, I, and 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 that's that's the key. That's the key is to just not not allow yourself to just be so comfortable where you don't evolve, but also don't allow yourself to be so hell bent on being perfect that you never let go. Got it. So they should come in with the attitude like, all right, I'm gonna put in this work. I'm gonna work real hard, and whatever happens happens. We're gonna keep moving. That's kind of like how you would want to put it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep creating. Yeah. If you if you if you stay stuck on one thing, like detox, it never. Yeah, you know what I mean. You want it to be so perfect, but you, but perfect. This is something that I, this is something else that you also have to remember as a creative, as an artist. Your perfection. In your mind. The the, the 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 edits the, the changes the, the the ways that you could always see something being better than what it is once it's out to them they know what they they have to to know mm. 
which what you release to them is what they say uh, they love it or they hate it off of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but they don't know. They don't know what what you think. You know, in your mind, what where it could go. Songs that I just said, let me, you know, let me let it go, that it can move on. But people love it. People that's love what, it for for what it is. That's what I'm saying. That happens a lot. Like I'm a fan. Like I'm a fan of Tupac, right? Like that's mm -hmm. my favorite rapper ever, right? I know that there's a lot of stuff that I like of his. Like I like everything he does. Even the stuff that I'm pretty sure he thought was trash, that he never even wanted it to come out. He was just scrapped in the studio, but because he passed on, they put it out or whatever. But I know that there's songs like that, but because I'm a fan, mm -hmm. I've already um, I've already uh, kind of in, got his character, and I'm, I'm more in love with the, with the character, you know, yeah. and, the, and the personality of the person. Like, everything else just sounds better, and things will sound better to me that might not sound good to someone else, but... Mm -hmm. He, he established his character. And I think with an the artist, there's sometimes, would you say that, you know, they should not always focus on also w that one record and and kind of not lose sight of the entire body of work and who you are as, a, as an artist and how that resonates with people? I, I, I say I say overall, don't lose sight of where you're trying to get to. <laughs> don't get so caught up and lost in what you're doing right now and and and... and, and allow that to stop you from continuing to progress to where you're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to, you have to let go in order to, to move, move forward in order to grow. Yeah. Part of it is, is, is part of the evolution. So um, that's, you know, that's the thing with artists, you know, I, including myself, you know, I've always, you know, who like, I'm, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I want, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm critical of everything, you know what I'm saying? I understand that it took me almost two decades to realize that being so critical of, of my work and wanted to be so perfect mm -hmm. held oh, that the listeners, I don't, I don't know if they would have loved to deny, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's not to, and, and, and when, when you're not in, you're not in something that you cannot go back and do yeah. again. Like how you were saying before about like it's not like how it was back in the day when it was it was there was so much work just to put it on tape and it right. was so hard to go back it was like fuck it we're just gonna move on and yeah no we're more in a, we're more in a content era yeah like, more than ever before you know back then it was like one album a year you yeah. know a yeah. single then an album and then another single. You yep. know what I'm saying? And you may get one or two music videos. This day, you're in content, 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 content. So you're kind of also in the position of if you don't continue to release content, then you're actually slowing yourself down in the process because people's eyes are so are, are, are quick to, you know, join on what's next. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's just, again, it all comes back to be patient with yourself. Yeah, but also be willing to, but but be willing to move forward. And so, Yo, it's a, so it's a lot, you know. Yeah, man, this, man, you got you got this really unique perspective. I'm probably gonna want to do another interview sometime in the future, man, because you got a lot of you got a lot to say, and 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 we're really blessed. And everyone who's listening right now is blessed to hear it. So I think. Um, I, I, I really appreciate that. And I want to talk to you about your brand. I know you have a brand, Crown Etiquette. Um, tell me tell me a little bit about your brand and uh, the people that's watching. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually... Uh, Rocking it right now. Yeah, always, always. That that's a whole, branding. Branding is a whole conversation in itself. That's another conversation. That's, a, that's another conversation. Uh, yeah, so I have a brand called Crown Etiquette Organization. Uh, I used to have a brand called Fresh World. That was the first brand that I built. I had over 30 artists, male, female, singers, vocalists, rappers, nice. dancers, uh, nice. when I was in Dallas. So, and we did so many shows. I did a lot of different, you know, content creations with with different styles and variety of artists. But uh, back then, you know, I was more, um, it, I was going through an evolutionary process. I was all about breaking the rules. You know, uh, my brand back then stood for, you know, it, it was for, it stood for Fly Rebels, Envy, and Shell Hate. And I was just really all about, you know, being rebellious against the conformity, against, you know, the trends, against what everybody 
you know, is, is so stuck on doing and stuff. Mm. When I got, um, when I moved up here, you know, the brand evolved to grow up. So Crown Etiquette Organization is, for me, is really about representing just a different, a, a lifestyle of treating yourself, allowing yourself to be, uh, allowing yourself to treat yourself, you know, worthy of feeling like a king or a queen, worthy of feeling like royalty, because we don't, uh, we don't, we don't love ourselves enough. Definitely. You know, we don't love, we don't love ourselves enough. And we wanted to create a brand that kind of reflected and represented that towards the individuals to let them know like, hey, when you walk, when you step, when you talk, carry yourself, carry your head high, you mm -hmm. know, because, because you, you deserve that for yourself. It's going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. So crown that's what that's what crown etiquette represents. But as far as the uh what what exactly it is, it, it's a brand label. Uh it's under their uh three artists were under there right now. When DC's one of them, Child's Play No Games is one of them, Lil David is another. Uh B Chun, she helps with the with the with the marketing and the branding of, of, of the organization. We have an actor under there, Carlito, who who's tapped into Producers then get Laser Storm, who's also working. So it's a growing brand, a music brand in itself. But also in the mm -hmm. process, we also are, you know, starting to chart, you know, dig lanes, other avenues like show production, content creation. In that matter, we have a, a a show right now that I'm in the process of working on. I don't want to reveal the title yet because it's still in development. But the show will basically be a platform for artists to come and play their music. And for me to be able to get, you know, special guests like that are in the industry that I, I meet all the time, you know, in the process to come and just have a conversation with the artists, allow them to play their song and talk about their music. Talk about the the, pro, the creation of the, pro, the process of the creation itself. Mm. And that's where yeah. I want to kind of spend more time with the artists is, you know, talking to them. What sparked you to create this? breaking down the words and the lines and the lyrics and the, and and the thoughts you know that are that are captivated inside of their their music and allowing you know them to also be heard and seen by other special you know you know special guests in the process yep. so that's yep. one of the shows that we're working on i have a platform i'm i'm ta i'm connected with back in um in dallas which is called the dallas city sound council and we're working to develop content shows and stuff like that. So Crown Etiquette in itself is 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 involved with a lot of show creation um, on on that aspect as well. But we're brand. We also do clothing brands. We also have uh, clothing brands. We have a CEO merch coming out. We have two brands that when D, uh, when DZ is in the process of developing a brand called Trill Drip, um, mm. and then my uh, little David, who is actually my little brother. Both of them. One is my cousin. One is my little brother who's also in the process of uh, working to develop a brand called Lavish Regrets. So, <laughs> yeah, right. so, so it, you know, for me, I'm just wearing multiple hats in the process of, of brand management, label management, uh, and, 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 and music recording and engineering and still being an artist in the, in the, in the interim of all of it. All right. Yeah, definitely. All right. That's yeah. awesome. And then I know you got the, uh, the Digilog um, group as well. Right a part of right so so, yeah. so digilog digilog is a um <clears throat> digilog is a music and tech uh boutique um and networking company in the process i've been able to open so many doors through being a part of the digi uh, the digilog so through them um i'm one of the content curators uh that that represents dallas fort worth through this as well as we, you know, the, before COVID, it started out doing networking events, uh, in-person networking events. I met people like the music programmer of BET through mm. just being in, 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 in place. Work was able to grow golden through that. But um, in a, over time, just being involved and being open to networking and, and speaking and, and connecting with, you know, them. And this is just a tip. Another gem is... In this industry, <clears throat> um, don't come in always just looking for what somebody can do for you. Apply, you know, walk in sometimes in a when you walk into a room, it's good for other people, which is another reason why I 
am involved with these other avenues of creating shows that the mm. artists can, can, can get involved with. Process of creating, you know, allowing myself to be of, of assistance to others, it's going to help yeah. me in the process. Um, so I went in that with that mentality to Digilog and ended up over time becoming a content curator along with B2. We represent Dallas Fort Worth. So now it allows me to help tie in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and all of the artists and creative individuals that they have there to a whole new network and vice versa. Mm -hmm. and vice versa. So, you okay. know, uh, I thought, yeah, so I, 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 I it, you know, it's about growing that, you know, in, in, in different, in different ways, in different areas. So shout out to the Digilog because they've definitely been a backbone behind me. We do, um, one of the things we do on, a a uh, a clubhouse um, meeting where you can come and you can play your music for a lot of different representatives in these rooms that you know are you it's free you know you're able to come in and play your music get highlighted as as a special art, uh, as an artist of the week we do uh, playlist curation in the process as well. Um, so there's two different playlists that, that artists right now have an opportunity to get the Digilog playlist as well as the playlist that we're curating for Dallas Fort Worth. So I just, you know, it's just about being, I didn't have, I, I didn't, I didn't have all of this. You know what I mean? I didn't have the tools. I had to go out and find it when I was younger, trying to find my way into the industry. I mm -hmm. just want to be able to give, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, a, a, a step you know, or, or, or some form of guidance or, or assistance in, in their journey of trying to get to where it is that they're, they're, they want to go. That's awesome, man. And also, I'm glad to have you on Office Connect app. So if anybody in the Dallas-Fort Worth area wants to tap in with Jay Catalyst, or even if you're outside of the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you want to tap in with Jay Catalyst, work with them, get some of this experience that's literally precious diamond experience, you could tap in with him on Artist Connect app. You got a profile on there. Just yeah. hit him up. And conversation. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, I'm. And thank you for that. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely happy to be a part of that platform. I'm. That you know what you're doing in itself with with Artist Connect is again just another genuine tool that is provided to you know our era that you know we didn't have that back then. You know we that didn't have that coming up. So. You know, that that's a blessing and, and, and a thank you and a salute to you, too, as well, for just being one who, who steps out on building a bridge, you know, versus waiting for one to be laid down in the process. I want to make it easier for creatives to make whatever their vision is in their mind as I want them to have all the tools available to that so that they can get it done much easier, simpler, faster, streamline mm -hmm. it so they can get more content out, better quality content have you know really achieved those ideas if you think of a saxophone player mm -hmm. and, you, and, and like you want a sax solo on the record and you're like you know what yeah that would be dope but how am i going to get that done and just the process of doing all that going on instagram or trying to find somebody and trying to see how much they charge and just the whole process of that kind of turns people off from doing things that they might have normally done if they had the tool like artists connect they right. maybe had visions certain things for the records that would have came to life that would have made the records even more amazing you know mm -hmm. And so that's why I want to create, you know, that's why I created Artists Connect was to, like you said, bridge opportunities and make it easier, more streamlined in this in this overly saturated and, and content driven market. It's very mm -hmm. hard to stay on top of things. And that's what this tool is. Uh, Artists Connect is a tool to help stay on top of things as much as and, possible. And, and, and also just like for a person like myself, who, who's a, who's very big on being independent, mm -hmm. um, to be able to what I offer without me having to go into long overdrawn conversation. I don't have that kind of time. So to be able to just like, look, you need these, you need my services. You need my help. You need my assistance. This is what it is. It's right here for you. You don't have to figure anything out. It's exactly. all right there. Providing you exactly. in the process. And if, I, you, if you're talking in the chat, instead of texting them on the grant on, on a DM, you're texting them in the chat space. That's a written agreement. So you don't have to double time and re-say things that you've already said and, and agreements that they already committed to. It's already yeah. in a program that's holding that written agreement to protect you and protect your deposit, protect your payment, protect your situation. So, yeah, exactly, bro. This definitely I, I, 
this is the, I, I like to align myself with bridge builders, you know, and so that's why I, I appreciate you for that. Yeah, and we're gonna do this again. Um, it was great having you. Um, and uh, yeah, man, anytime, just hit me up whenever you want to get back, talk about something like you said, branding. Maybe that we'll talk about that in the near future. Oh, that's a that's definitely a great conversation that we could definitely have. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for your time. Happy uh, Valentine's Day to you, you know, and everyone else. Dope conversation. Um, and just, yeah, if y'all looking for me, follow me on Instagram, uh, follow our brand. We are crown etiquette and, uh, oh, by the way, we're always listening for, for artists, you know what I mean? So send me your music, you know, tap in with me, add me, add, add me on the gram and just shoot me a message, you know, just to connect with me. So, because there's different opportunities that, you know, you'll be able to play your music and get heard in the process. So, um, Sage, man, thank you. Yeah, definitely, man. I'll see you soon. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Later. Have a good one. You too. All right. So this week, the winner of the Artist Connect Weekly Giveaway is Engineer Style of the Dawn. If you're there, let me see where he's at. I'm going to try to invite him right now. Thank you to everybody who's on here. Rated R Music, you guys should check out Rated R Music. Um, they're also on Artist Connect as well. Michael Rivers said he had to work twice as hard because it was hard to sell soul music nowadays because it's a, it's a rap world, that's true. Can I stay with me? I want to see if Style of the Dawn is available. All right, so Style is probably not available, but Style of the Dawn is the winner of this week's Artist Connect weekly raffle giveaway. And the weekly raffle is very easy. All you got to do is use Artist Connect app to accept the payment. And then you're automatically in the raffle. So if you was already getting paid for something, studio time, photography, makeup, if they were already paying you through Cash App or another app, just have them pay you the same exact money through Artist Connect. It goes straight to your bank account, everything. But you'll be in this $100 raffle every week and we'll give you a shout out. Style of the Don is a great engineer um, here in New York. So if you want to hit him up, He's on the Artist Connect app. I will um, put his profile in the Insta story. Thank you, everybody, for joining, tapping in, and we'll see you next week.